Hey folks, just back on lane here to show you uh, an induction heater. Um, I find these videos useful to explain to people a bit better what machines can do and stuff. So I might try and do a few more of these over a period of time. Um, this machine here is a single phase induction heater. Uh, as you can see here, it just works on a normal 13 amp domestic single phase power supply. So just, it's very easy on power and uh, it's just on a 13 amp fuse. Um, French med machine, good quality bit of kit. Uh, you can set your temperature here, high and low temperature. Uh, the idea of the machine is here that <clears throat> when you contact this of a workpiece, it obviously transfers the heat onto the workpiece. So if you're working at rusty nuts and stuff like that, or whatever, in round trucks and plant machinery, cars, whatever, um, it'll transfer the heat onto that. Um, it has a coolant fluid in the machine, so that when you're finished using the machine, uh, the torch goes cool and immediately, you know? Cool to touch immediately. So it's quite safe. Uh, obviously, no sparks, no flame. You won't be doing any damage when you're in underneath vehicles and plant trying to heat stuff, you know? So it gives a short demonstration here of uh, heating a few items here. So here we have got um, 16 mil stud. I'll just try to heat the top of the nut. Now, it's very sunny here today, and you might not see this properly in the video, but that stud is going red and white in every colour, but um, if it was in darker, you would see it's gone glowing red. The sunshine doesn't normally cause as much problems, to be honest, but today it is. So that there is only uh, very hot. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it's very hot. Okay, so when I touch my machine, it's cool to touch. So it's very safe, you know? It's just barely warm there now, it's cooling down. It's just barely warm, like, you know? So that's what the machine can do. Um, there is a range of accessories and stuff available for the machine. <clears throat> different adapters, different heads you can attach onto it with angles on them and forward facing, an angled one. Uh, then we have these loop type heads that go onto it on a quick attachment. Uh, we have a range of different sizes of this. I'll show you a video of these in a second working. So this is uh, how you change the head. It's a quite a quick, simple uh, procedure. You just uh, screw off the, the head like that there. This is the standard head comes with the equipment when you get it. So this is the standard, what, what, you, what you get. Uh, as I said, you've got angled, angled heads straight heads, various size of loops, straight ones, 90 degrees. These are all available as optional extras or to get separately whatever bits and pieces you need. In this case, I'm gonna put on uh, one a 90 degree loop just to show you folks uh, how uh, this can be used to heat a large stud. Um, and just because I have a wheel of a truck here, I'm gonna put it on the wheel of the truck on the nut. 33 mil nut on the truck. So, I'll just be a bit of a, an example for you. Okay folks, so this is the uh, loop adapter uh, for the head that I've just put on it. And it is uh, the one I've used for this purpose of the video. It's uh, going to fit on over a 33mm nut on the wheel of a truck, it's just to give you the idea. Um, as I said, uh, it's very sunny here, so it's difficult to see how hot the nuts are getting with the sun shining. Um, but I put a little bit of grease on this here, so you'll probably see it for yourself that when I, uh, when I uh, press the button, uh, it'll start to heat and it'll melt off. It'll try and get the message across that it's getting hot. Um, and I, it gets obviously very hot. And as I said, there's various different sizes of these adapters. Um, we've got straight, uh, straight uh, adapters, and uh, they're in different diameters as well. Both 90 degree and straight. And then the heads then, we've got straight, angled, and 90 degree. Heads. 
So I'm going to let you focus in on the camera if you can with that there. Obviously the grease has melted off, it doesn't take much to melt grease, but I just wanted to get the idea across that it's getting hot. It's getting very hot there now, you can see the, even the paint on the wheel rim over here beginning to, 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 to melt, you know. Um, and again, as I said, so we won't be touching that for a long time, but again, as I said, your head is cold to touch. So it's a very safe piece of equipment in awkward places, there's no fire hazards or uh, no, uh, you're not going to damage any equipment, you know. Um, and the nuts, the studs that we uh, heated earlier on, like were 16 mil, 14 mil studs, you know. We also, when you look at the state of that vice of ours, we also sell dozens of vices every week. We have a huge selection of vices in our store. We sell a lot of vices, uh, but we have, don't have a very good one ourselves. So that's typical anyway. Um, so if you log online to have a look at this machine or you can contact any one of our sales staff they will give you uh, more detailed information on it. This here actually is the fluid as well. This is the fluid that goes into the machine to cool the torch. Okay, so I forgot to mention that. That's the fluid that goes into the back of the machine, cools the torch, you know. Uh, and as I said, if you contact howdentools.com or contact some of our uh, sales staff, they'll go through the more detail of what it can do. We have a large selection of other uh, uh, induction heaters as well, not just this one, but we do a large selection of other various types and styles for different, uh, different requirements, you know. That's it folks, thanks for watching.